Hello YouTube and welcome to another virtualization tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how actually to move one Hyper-V virtual machine from one host to another. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know Hyper-V allows us to do what we call live migration. So actually the live migration is the process of moving running virtual machine from one host to another okay but there are some requirements for that okay so first of all the two servers must be actually in the same domain or trusted domain okay so here as you can see i have two running uh, server core hyper-v machines i have here hyper-v01 and hyper-v02 so as I told you, the first requirement is that those both virtual machines or actually hosts must belong to the same domain or trusted domain. So let's verify that. So if I go, for example, to this host here, Hyper-V01, you can see here it's belong to a domain called Aminostat.local, okay? And the name of this host is actually, as you can see here, Hyper-V01. Okay, so now let's verify that the second host, which is Hyper-V02, also belong to the same domain. And as you will see, indeed, it's also belonging to the same domain. Okay, and of course, the two uh, hosts must be actually connected to a trusted or actually a reliable network uh, connection okay and also if we go actually to our windows uh, or actually domain controller here we have some settings that we must adjust in order the process to begin so here if i go to active directory users and computers you will see under the computer uh, folder here i have here my two hosts so here i have hyper v01 and hyper v02 okay so if i right click for example on the hyper v01 and if i go to properties and the, the delegation tab I must actually choose some specific options here okay so for example here for delegating in security sensitive operation which allows services to act on behalf of another server we have here to choose this option here trust this computer for delegation for specific services only okay and as both the hosts belong to the same domain it's better to choose here use any authentication protocol okay and of course here the services that we have actually to choose is CIFS and Microsoft virtual system migration so make sure these two options are actually chosen or these two services are actually chosen okay so if i go to the second host here properties and the delegation tab i must actually do the same okay so here you can see that i have uh, chosen also to trust this computer for delegation for specific services only and use this authentication protocol any authentication protocol okay so actually the process is pretty simple all you have to do is to click on this add button here users and computer and of course here you enter the other host here under this uh, under object name okay and one is done you have just to choose the services that we have chosen here cifs and microsoft virtual system migration okay so that's an optional but it's better to use this option if you want to avoid any errors during the process of live migration okay so we are done here in our domain controller active directory users and computers 
So under the Hyper-V manager you must also configure some options. So for the Hyper-V 01 for example you have to right click on it and go to Hyper-V settings. One that is chosen here you will find live migration okay so you have to choose it and to check this box enable incoming and outgoing live migration this is very important if you want this process to actually be done okay and here under incoming live migration you have to choose use any available network for live migration or if you have specific uh, actually network that you want just to use for live migration you can enter it here okay so me as i only have one network i will choose this use any available network for live migration okay and also for advanced features you will find it here it's better to use kerberos this is more secure but requires constraints delegation for live migration that's why we have chosen here under users and computers the delegation here in this tab here okay so this is very important uh, features that you must set and also for performance options choose always compression okay so the mo uh, this same settings does actually must also be done in the second host so if we go to the second host hyper-v settings under live migration we have also enable incoming and outgoing live migration and here for the simultaneous live migration we choose the default which is two and of course we use any available network for live migration and under advanced features we use the same as in Hyper-V01, use Kerberos and also compression. So that's all we need in order to actually get this done. Live migration which allows us to move running Windows or actually a virtual machine. It can be Windows or Linux or what you want. And also it's better that uh, the two hosts must have the same hardware especially for processors okay so let's do this process of moving for example this Windows 7 machine that is running from this host to this host here okay so that's what we call live migration so if we get connected to this uh, Windows 7 actually machine so this is a Windows virtual machine that will be using just for testing so let's for example run here uh, a ping in order just to see if it, uh, everything is working so here the ping is running so the virtual machine is running so now let's try to move this running virtual machine from this host to the other host so it's pretty simple all you have to do is to right click on this uh, virtual machine Windows 7 and choose move okay so after that we have actually a wizard it's pretty simple all you have to do is to click next so what type of move do you want to perform we want to move the virtual machine so we want to move actually the whole virtual machine so we go next here we choose the name of the destination computer which is the other host here so it's windows 2019 hyper v02 okay next of course here what do you want to do with the virtual machine items so as I told you we want to move it the data to a single location so we'll go next here we stick with the default there is nothing fancy here and here we have to choose the destination location so as we have chosen Hyper-V02 we get actually the whole disk of this Hyper-V02 so you can put it whatever you want let's put it for example here in users folder so i select it here we go next so now we have everything in order to move the windows 7 virtual machine from host 1 to host 2 so we click finish and the process now is actually 
been performed and if we return back to our virtual machine here the ping you can see here it's still running so there is no interruption for the running virtual machine so that's one of the powerful things for using live migration okay so we will wait for the virtual machine to be moved from Hyper-V01 server to the Hyper-V02 server, okay? Okay, as you can see, the process has finished. So we have no more virtual machine on Hyper-V01 but if we go this time to Hyper-V02 we will find that actually our Windows 7 machine has been moved and we still have the ping running which means we have no interruption in our virtual machine so everything is working properly and actually we didn't even notice the move from this server to another Hyper-V server, okay? So that is the beauty of using live migration in Hyper-V environment, okay? So that was just a brief uh, actually video to show you how you can easily perform a live migration of virtual or actually running virtual machine from one server to another. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.